Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a new Rock Island Armory 1911 called the BBR 3.10. It's a subcompact 1911 with a 3.1 inch barrel, a double stack that carries 10 rounds of 45 ACP. That's a lot of firepower packed in this little magazine that fits into the BBR 3.10. It's a 1911 that is small, it's not lightweight, and it's not thin. Check out that grip. It's stout. With the G10 grips there, it is stout. It is a handful, but it's, if you love 1911s, you're going to love this thing because not only does it carry 10 rounds, but it is very small, and it has all the features that we love with 1911s, like your thumb safety here, carry that cocked and locked. It's not a Nambi thumb safety. And then, of course, the magazine release right here, which has a nice deployment. So it's, everything is reachable. And then the trigger that I measure right at five and a half pounds. And here's your single action reset right there. Let's go ahead and get a measurement on that because the, the site says... I believe it says five to six pounds, but I am measuring that right in between five and six pounds. And there you go, five and a half pounds exactly. So that, that's pretty consistent with what I measured off camera. But <laughs> I like the way this feels. You know, it is a handful, but it's, it's all Rock Island with the parkerized finished slide. It's got the, the nice looking stainless barrel, fiber optic front sight and an adjustable rear sight that has two dots there all right there are your adjustments and then over here so it's a it's a nice little package you know extended beaver tail grip safety everything you love about the 1911 in a very small package it's cool i like it and 10 rounds <laughs> that i think is pretty amazing they're able to pack all those in now I have a, another double stack 1911, it's a Remington Limited, and so I was wondering, would this actually accept this 15 round mag? And I can see here, it doesn't always lock back, if I put a little bit of pressure underneath, it will, so it's very close, but it will charge rounds, because I already tried that off camera, so it's, you, you can use that as a spare mag if you wish, or you can go ahead and take the other mag, because it does come with two 10 round mags that are you know identical it does have witness holes on the right side but that's what you're looking at right there and then with the g10 grips once again you're looking at a fat a, a short and fat gun all right that's what you're looking at now it does have some you know your regular 1911 texturing on the uh, back strap the main spring housing is flat and then rather aggressive front strap right there but a pretty decent looking gun and I do like that fiber optic front sight for that three dot sight picture if that will align let's go ahead and get it on the scale see what this thing's weighing in at I took it to the range I did not create a range review I just wanted to function check it and it tames the recoil the 45 very nicely here we have an unloaded BBR 3.10 the unloaded weight two pounds two and one eighth ounce we move that to just ounces we're looking at 34 and one eighth ounce but if we take 10 rounds here we have hollow points all right so we carry it here we have 10 rounds get in there you know, slam that mag home we're looking at 41 and three quarters i've got another 45 here for 11 rounds 42 and three eighths so about 42 and a half ounces is what you would be carrying if you decided to carry the Rock Island BBR 3.10. Nice trigger. I, I do think, you know, I, I've shot several Rock Island 1911s in the past, and I do enjoy the trigger pull. And people say they, they love Rock Island. They say, you know, for a budget 1911 handgun, 1911 especially rock island makes some of the best and you can see it's very clean machining longer uh frame rails there 
not full length, but it is a 1911. All right. And then here what we're looking at, this is a little bit different. It's a dual recoil spring. It's uncaptured, but it is very tight. To try to get this out, it takes a little bit of doing, but it'll work. Now here you have your uncaptured recoil spring, all steel guide rod, dual springs there, and then it does have a bushing for the recoil spring guide rod. And then we'll pull, push that link down, and out comes the 3.1 inch barrel with the uh, locking lugs right there, all right? And then here's the slide we're looking at. Nice little setup, a, a 1970 series, all right? So you don't have that plunger there that some of those 80 series 1911s have, but there it is. Let me put this back together and we'll wrap this thing up. There it is, Rock Island BBR 3.10, little stocky, fat powerhouse that carries 10 rounds of 45 ACP. MSRP 699, I would guess in the upper 500s, you'll be able to get this at your local gun store. It will be available on October 1st. It is on the Rock Island site, and I think it's a pretty cool 1911. Look forward to a range review forthcoming. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.